been into uh, early Falcons virtually my whole life. Grew up in a family that had early Fords. So then when I turned uh, 16, I got my first car, which was an XB Falcon, and I've had them ever since. My name's Cameron Manuel. I do a lot of Mad Max replicas. This one's off to Acme in Melbourne. It will be a, a Mad Max 1 Interceptor replica. It's a little bit different from my usual projects in that uh, the requirement is only half the car. It's gonna be pushed up against the mirror. So it looks like a full one-piece car. And uh, as it turns out, about twice the work of building a full one. <laughs> the main thing that most people notice is the body kits. The flares, the general body lines are all, all original. Some of the extra details that will then go into the car will be the GT side flute that will go on to here. Black XB GT interior uh, with the blue strobe light on the dash. The big fiberglass nose cone and the fake supercharger. Yeah, it was great working on Fury Road. It was, uh, it was certainly a, a unique experience. Basically the cars that we built, not just see them on film, but to actually get them out in, in the outback and try and break them so that we knew that by the time we got to the point of filming that, uh, that they were going to be you know, reliable. The Interceptor, as we said in Mad Max 1, was fairly well a pristine, special, one-off you know, pursuit vehicle. Of course, as we said in Fury Road, it's, uh, it's much more dilapidated and, and worn and rusted, so this one will still be you know, sort of somewhat pristine, more than its post-apocalyptic sort of later life. It'll look as per the original throughout. 